Hello everyone, good to be with you on this Tuesday. This is meteorologist Erica Rascaeta at the One News Weather Center with your local weather report. Well, taking a look at the headlines, we are expecting mild and damp conditions to last throughout most of the work week. Abundant Pacific moisture will continue to work its way in thanks to a, a wave that remains across the coastal areas that will continue to work its way towards the north. And that's going to leave the shower threat on and off throughout most of the work week. But for us here across the Columbia Basin, we are expecting to remain relatively dry. And throughout most of this week, we are expecting the warmest temperatures so far this year. So conditions throughout the past 24 hours across Euphrata did highs, did reach into the lower 60s when we should have been in the mid to lower 50s. And overnight lows reached into the upper 30s and we should have been in the lower 30s. So temperatures definitely above average of where we should be for this time of the year. Dry conditions did prevail across most of Euphrata and even across the Columbia Basin as well, where we did see highs as well reaching into the lower 60s when we should have been in the mid 50s. And overnight lows even reached into the 40s. That's definitely above average of where we should have been for this time of the year as overnight lows should be reaching into the lower 30s. Well, at least we can't complain. We have mild temperatures and we did remain relatively dry. Meanwhile, the Cascades and the coastal areas seeing still abundant moisture. So temperatures right now in the lower 60s, some peaks of sunshine, and also we are expecting winds a bit stronger from the southwest. And that's what's allowing that abundant Pacific moisture to continue to work its way inland, especially across portions of the Cascades, the coastal areas, and out across the inland northwest. So here's what we saw throughout the past 24 hours. We had a wave across the coastal areas that left some rain and even snow across the mountains. And that wave's going to continue to work its way towards the north, towards British Columbia. We did see abundant cloud cover, and that's going to prevail throughout most of the overnight hours and into the day on Wednesday. Meanwhile, the rain will continue across the coastal areas with some snow across the Cascades, and that's going to continue to work its way towards the night towards the north overnight and into the day on Wednesday. The inland northwest as well seeing abundant moisture working its way across with some rain and snow and that's going to prevail throughout most of the day on Wednesday. Now we're expecting to remain relatively dry throughout the day on Wednesday for us here across the Columbia Basin but still abundant cloud cover is expected and mild temperatures all across. Still soggy conditions will prevail across most of the coastal areas and then slowly we will begin to see the shower threat on and off throughout most of the work week, we could see some dry conditions Wednesday into Thursday, but for us here, we are expecting to remain relatively dry until at least Friday evening and into the start of the weekend. So current conditions throughout the day on Wednesday, this is what we can expect. Temperatures will remain in the 50s. Some areas could even reach that 60 degree mark, but abundant cloud cover with some rain and snow, especially across the Cascades and even across the coastal areas. And then for us here across the Columbia Basin, we are expecting mild temperatures all across, reaching into the lower 60s, but still abundant cloud cover is still expected. Royal City, the hot spot on the map, could even reach into the upper 60s throughout the afternoon. Very mild temperatures expected throughout the rest of the work week. Taking a look at the extended outlook, we are expecting cloudy conditions and mild temperatures to last until at least the weekend. We could see some peaks of sunshine and then finally improving for Sunday, but still a chance of showers not ruling out. And then finally, temperatures back into the 50s. That's all for now at the moment, but we'll be right back with some sports.